Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to RoboThought Zero to Hero series. C, C++ coding in Arduino Mega, Arduino UNO, Arduino Nano, any of the boards you want. We have reached half a century guys. We are on lesson number 50. And I am going to show you how to control a DC motor with H bridge IC integrated circuit. Now, I will basically show you how to, you know, connect the circuit uh, using the H bridge chip, which, which is pretty low cost driver chip for the DC motors. Hardly it costs about 100 rupees in Indian, Indian rupees. Uh, and with of course few lines of C, C++ code. We will also discuss the connection of a DC gear motor with Arduino board and the H bridge which is called L298D. Okay, you may just Google for L293 or 98. Any of this will work. Okay, uh, and you will get tons of information. So basically, let's let's look at uh, how the chip is being configured. I'll show you the pin drawing. So this is the basic chip, which is about uh, what about 16 different pins, right? One side there are eight, the other side there are eight pins. So uh, th this particular chip, which which is called the H bridge L293D, is defined as the motor driver IC, which permits the DC motor to drive in any direction. It can simultaneously control two DC motors as well, right? So that is how it works. And it, it, it has about 16 pin integrated, it's, it's a 16 pin chip, right? So, so this particular chip basically receives signal from your Arduino, uh, Arduino board and transmits this signal to the motor. So it has two, two voltage pin. If you can see there are two VCC pins or it's also called a voltage pin, wherein one pin draws the current for its working and another pin is used to provide the voltage to the DC motor to drive. All right, the motor usually requires high current for its operation. It, it you know, you cannot just drive with your Arduino connected to the USB uh, port of your uh, laptop. You need to provide an external battery. I am going to show you how and we can also use this particular Arduino microcontroller, but, but the high current might actually damage the microcontroller. So, to overcome this, the motor driver is used. This particular chip also protects you from the spike of the current from the battery or any high voltage. So L293D is one of the most popularly used motor drivers to drive the DC motors in robotics application or any other electronics projects you might want to develop. It can run a DC motor up to one ampere of current load. That's the maximum and that, that's pretty good enough actually. And the four outputs which you can see present in this particular driver L293D driver is makes it very much suitable to connect four different motors and run a big rover robot itself. So I am going to plug this to you and show you to you how to connect using this particular circuit drawing. You may pause this video and you may connect your, uh, the L293D chip with this particular wiring drawing. It, it's pretty simple guys and I can probably tell you what it is. The red terminal of the power supply uh, goes to the VCC of L293D and then connect the black terminal of the power supply to the ground of L293D and then connect both terminals of the motor there are no positives and negatives in DC motor. You may you may just reverse, right? So both the terminal uh, to the output pin one and pin two of L293D driver chip, and then connect the input pin to 293D to the digital pin eight of Arduino board. All right, and then connect the enable pin one and enable pin input pin one to PWM pin ten and eleven of Arduino, and then of course the VCC. That is your positive terminal of DL293D driver to the 5 in 5 volt pin of Arduino board and similar way the ground pin. So it's a pretty straightforward circuit. Now let's do some coding and see how to make it work. It's going to be a little bit of lengthy coding, but it's going to be pretty interesting. Let me just open up my IDE. All right. So this is my IDE. Now let's do some coding. First, we need to define the pin numbers as per the circuit drawing, which I showed you just now. Let's say hash define motor. 
underscore one to pin number eleven. Like this, so this will set the PWM pin to eleven, and then the hash, oops, hash, define motor underscore a to pin number ten. So this will define the PWM to ten, and we can also connect it to other PWM pins of Arduino, and then hash. Hash define motor underscore b to pin number eight. So this is basically your digital input output, right? And then we will define we will uh, define the speed to slow, say sixty four. I will explain what the sixty four means. and then hash define to normal speed of 128 and then let's define a maximum speed maximum speed define say fast as the 255 is the maximum speed you can go so i will talk about this one at a time slowly i will try to explain all right and then let's create int speed in speed so here we will initialize the speed of the variable all right and then let's create function so we need to go to the void function void forward underscore let me just scroll it down scroll it up so that you guys can see forward underscore revise say void okay like this now let me open the block of the code inside the block analog write okay analog write what we are going to write we need to write motor underscore 1 to speed we already set the speed limit like this semicolon and then digital write Digital write to motor underscore a. That is your high. We are oning the motor, and then digital write to motor underscore b. We will switch it off, which is low, and then we need to. come back come outside of the block of code and we will say void backward okay void backward underscore rev and then do nothing to void but we need to open the block of code again to ensure that we write what we need to be doing with the motor Okay now what we need to do we need to analog write analog in the backward we need to uh, do analog <coughs> write analog write motor underscore 1 motor underscore 1 comma speed which we had defined already right and then digital right oops digital right like this digital right motor underscore a comma low we will switch it off <coughs> and then again we need to switch it on so that is high digital right digital right motor underscore b comma high so we just going to on the motor again <coughs> now let me close this block of code and come out of this and we will create a void forward forward underscore ramp underscore up 
and do nothing to void just void so this we will create basically to create more torque and climb up on the ramp void like this and let's open the block of code and in this block i am going to write digital oops let me scroll it up again in the forward digital right why am i doing so many spelling mistakes digital right digital right what in the forward motor underscore a to high we need to increase the speed and on and then digital right motor motor underscore b to low which will switch off again all right now we need to set a for loop oops what happened to my indentation uh let me just open keep it open and put a for loop here now what we need to indentation guys it's very important it has to be below the digital oh again spelling mistake digital d i g i t a l digital right like this now for we will say i n t i is the object zero and then if i is less than 255 which is the maximum speed then i plus plus as a increment operator which i taught you in the previous lesson so this is where your loop will start guys and the value set from 0 to 255 that is the lowest speed that is in the off state to the on state and the increment operator which will increase the speed to 255 limit in the loop all right now let's come uh -huh. yeah i think this should work but let's see let's let's come out of this block and now i am going to do a analog write analog write um let's see analog right it should ideally work this way let's see analog right motor underscore a comma i like this semicolon and then delay for 15 milliseconds very short period just fraction of seconds right and then let me close this again now let me come out of this block say void forward underscore ramp underscore down and then void let me scroll it up void and then what we need to do i'll open up a block again and within that block digital digital right digital right what we need to write say motor comma motor underscore a to high on and then digital right motor underscore b we can remember we can define two different motors guys the driver will the driver chip will support two different motors low like this and then we will say for oops upper case for i n t i equal to 255 semicolon then i is 
if it is greater than or equal to zero we are doing it in the opposite direction right now it has to reverse equal to zero semicolon and then i minus minus which will go in reverse close the bracket so this loop is set to reverse the direction basically value set from 255 to 0 in on the top we set it from 0 to 255 now it has to reverse back from 255 to 0 that's how it works now let me come out of this block and then analog analog right analog right motor underscore a comma i like this semicolon okay motor uh, analog right motor underscore a comma i okay then we will delay for say a very short period say 15 milliseconds like this all right let me close this block of code close it again and then the state say we will use the same statement but within the different function we, we will use another function like void backward void backward underscore ramp underscore up and then void to do nothing and then we will take it back into the loop in a block of code say digital right digital right motor underscore a comma low semicolon digital right motor let me just scroll it up so that you guys can see motor underscore b comma high all right and then we will take it into the loop of for int i equals to zero semicolon then if the object is less than 255 less than 255 we need to say again a increment plus i plus plus like this okay and then we will open another block of code with a curly bracket analog right analog right to motor underscore a comma i and what is i that is my object as the motor and we will delay this to say 15 milliseconds again pretty short actually we don't require to delay but it's good to see the moment how it works we can modify the delay time as per the requirement guys as as you want okay and then let me close this block let me close it again and then we will open up another function we will open the function called void backward underscore ramp underscore down and then do nothing because we need to void it and open the block of code and in this block what i'll do is in this block we need to say digital digital right digital right to motor underscore a comma low semicolon and then digital right to motor underscore b comma high switch it on again and then we need to set the speeding parameter in the loop that is for int i which we declared equals to 255 is the maximum speed and then i is greater than 
or equal to zero semicolon and then i minus minus like this all right then now we will open another block of code analog right say motor motor underscore a comma i semicolon and then we will delay this to 15 milliseconds again close the bracket 15 milliseconds okay after delaying let's close this block of code like this and now we will do a break so that we need to give a break in between we will say void setup we will go to no let's go to void break we will create a function called void break like this void break and open the block with a curly bracket digital digital right to motor underscore a comma high like this with a semicolon and then digital right motor underscore b comma high semicolon and then i will close the block and then i will come to void setup void setup as one time function i'll open the block of code now let's say serial dot begin let's also see what happens in the terminal while the motor is running serial dot begin begin at the rate of 9600 ball rate semicolon serial dot print ln and i am going to print what you can say hello i am testing my motor or i am just doing this exercise or hey avengers run this motor anything you want say uh, dc motor test using l 293d with a double quote close and a semicolon now let's go to our pin mode pin mode motor where have we designed where have we defined the pin modes we need to define it now pin mode motor underscore one to output like this and then again pin mode motor underscore a comma output and then again pin mode motor underscore b we are driving two motors output okay semicolon let me push it up motor underscore b uh, output and then i think that's pretty much let's let me close this block and then i'll come to void loop void loop let me close the function <coughs> excuse me and open the block now let me write the speed proposition speed equals to slow so this will basically slow the speed okay semicolon speed equals to slow we can modify the value as fast as or as slow as we want and normal depending upon the requiring speed depending upon what kind of robot you are building right and the motor will basically revolve according to the specified speed now let's say forward 
फॉरवर्ड अंडरस्कोर रेव फंक्शन विच वी डिफाइंड अर्लियर एंड देन वी कैन डिले बाय ओप्स डिले डिले बाय से 1000 थाउजेंड मिली सेकेंड्स एंड देन ब्रेक फंक्शन सेम आई कॉलन लेट मी पुश इट अप ब्रेक फंक्शन ब्रेक एंड देन वी विल डिले द ब्रेक टू से फाइव हंड्रेड आई होप दिस वर्क्स लेट्स क्रॉस आवर फिंगर्स एंड देन बैकवर्ड अंडर स्कोर रेव फंक्शन फॉर दिस वी विल बैकवर्ड और के बैकवर्ड लाइक दिस we will delay this to 1000 milliseconds like this and then the break function again the break function what i am going to do i am going to delay by 500 again and then we will go to forward underscore ramp underscore up function semicolon and then forward underscore let me push it up so that you guys can see forward underscore ramp underscore down closing the function and then backward underscore Score ramp underscore up. I will close the function and then backward underscore ramp underscore down. I will close the function. Now the statement inside the function basically will run again and again. The motor will. keep rotating in forward and backward direction right so within this function you may also write your own functions guys you know you can create multiple loop within this within this within this within this it depends i'm just trying to show you some examples to make it work now let me just compile and see if this works i hope it works and there are no errors let me just compile how many errors all right there is one error analog analog right and motor okay motor m o t o r motor let me compile again it's good to debug with the errors now what is the token expected okay i think there was an indentation mistake looks like there was an indentation mistake in the block analog right motor yes there is a indentation mistake let me just look at the block all right that indentation seems to be working now let me compile this again compiling i hope this time there is no error done compiling which seems to be good let me upload the program uploading looks like okay i need to give a external power let me just share my circuit all right so it's the same circuit with l293d uh, chip the circuit which you saw i just plugged in directly and a simple dc motor i used only one motor instead of two i just had one motor you can also connect two different motors as per the drawing so it it really doesn't apply but you know this is just for a trial let me just i i'm using this kind of uh, 8650 uh, motor uh, sorry the battery rechargeable battery i'll just connect and see if it works all right doesn't seem 
to okay I plugged it in here I think I need to plug it here so here is the power supply let me okay there you go guys now it has to reverse back delay delay for 500 milliseconds and then it has to rotate again there you go it's moving in the forward and then reverse again and it's now it's climbing up okay climbing up the ramp that is the function we created and then it has to climb down and a stop with a delay function for a couple of seconds and then now it has to climb ramp up again there you go it's ramping up and then ramping down it's ramping up again all right guys looks like our code is working the circuit is working and the logic seems to be working if we connect two different motors you will know the difference we can also change the direction of the robot left and right and forward backward climb up and kind of thing so it's pretty uh, simple guys and uh, all right that's it for this particular lesson i hope you enjoyed this particular lesson guys do practice if you want i'll leave this code in my github and with the link you might i i suggest do not copy the code guys just understand the logic and try to type it yourself that is the way you are going to master your skills and you can do wonderful projects all right i am going to be back soon in the next video until then goodbye